What's going on Show Nation, it's Movie with Movie Gaming TV and in today's video I'm wanting to talk about Reticle versus Wedge, why I've made the switch to Reticle and why I think it is better <clears throat> and also some other hitting tips will be in this video. So I've been going on this Chase Outly grind, um, I just kind of got started with it and I don't know if I want to stick with it. Um, I think he's going to be interesting. I don't know if he's going to be better than Corey Seager or not, but I wanted to go after him because at least one of my favorite cards. But during this grind, I've switched to Reticle. And if you saw my video with TD Barrett, uh, our collab, I was using Reticle. And someone in the comments was like, You guys have all switched to Reticle instead of Wedge. And uh, I really like the, the Reticle better. Um, honestly, so that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to tell you why I like the reticle better than the wedge. And so let's go ahead and jump into a game so I can kind of show you why and talk about that. All right, so let's get into it. And also guys, I will be bringing you guys, uh, some tips on how to get the chase all the missions done. If that's something that you would like to go after, uh, I will be doing that. Uh, this is not the lineup you would want to use. I am gonna just like play this game though with my like normal lineup so I can use uh, You know the hitters that I want to use. All right, so we're up at the plate now. We got Alzar up <clears throat> And here's kind of why I like the reticle better. It kind of moves around a little bit quicker a little bit bouncier um, I, I do like that about it um, As we shoot a base hit to left field there and like I said, this game's on veteran because I'm, I'm going for the um, the Chase Utley, but that's not really important. It's not going to be a video about me hitting 70 bombs with reticle. I just want to explain to you some quick things as to why I like it. So it's bouncier. Um, what I like to do with the wedge, let me see if I can call time. What I like to do with the wedge, uh, when I hit with the wedge, is I like to start the wedge like up at the pitcher's release point, all right? So if I'm, you know, since it's a right-handed pitcher, I'm gonna start the the wedge up here and then track the ball down there. So if it's tying inside, I can take that away. But once I go to the wedge, or once I go to the reticle, excuse me, instead of the wedge, now I can do the same thing, but no, now nothing's impeding my vision. Uh, I can, nothing's in the way of my vision if I wanna do that same thing. I can just put it right up here, track the ball, as normal <clears throat> now here's another thing as I've been going through these uh, ugly missions that I like so I I think the PCI with reticle feels bounce here I feel like if I do what I like to do when I, I play and start it up by the release point of the pitcher I think that's better because now my vision's not impeded now the other thing I like to do is I feel like I can take away the center of the plate or not the center of the plate but I feel like I can take away um, nice catch there I feel like I can take away uh, a half of the plate. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> when I move it over here, this line's in the center of the PCI. And if I move it over here, the line from the black of the strike zone's in the center of the PCI. I think that's like a, you know, you're just right in the middle of one of the edges of the plate. So you can take that away very easily. And that kind of helps me line it up. So if I was playing in head to head, uh, and I want to take away the inside is push the stick over to the side all the way and now anything inside I just need to move up and down to take that away And the same thing with the outside I can just move it up and down and I can take away that half of the plate So let's track Track down nothing's in the way and the other thing it has to do with is uh, feedback is uh, you guys know the buckshot feedback there's like that you know, there's the center yellow circle, and then there's all the buckshot do dots around it. <clears throat> what I've been noticing, though, is you can see, like, down in the bottom left corner, and hopefully he doesn't throw a pitch. I'm just going to hold R2. So you can see down in the bottom left corner how there's that circle and the dots. Well, I feel like the circle of the reticle is that um, colored in yellow circle. So as long as you get it in that, get it in the reticle itself, you're going to be hitting in that circle with a normal swing. So I feel like um, it's great to line it up, line up your swing with it. I like also on the reticle how both sides of it uh, are even. Like on the wedge, I don't like how one side is smaller than the other. Um, 
if this had a pretty transparent dot, it would be probably better. Like, if I was just redesigning the PCI from scratch, it would probably be better just to have, like, a little dot. But at the same time, like, I don't know, man. Like, I just have a good feel after, like, hitting with it for so long as to where the dot is. I, I don't think I need the dot anymore. <clears throat> I like I can see the ball out of the pitcher's hands better. I feel like my bat is quicker, too, because I can see the ball better. And uh, so, yeah, man, I, I really like using this reticle a lot more. I either If I don't start my PCI at the release point, I might just start it, like, middle in a little bit. Just because middle in is typically the hardest place to hit uh, in the game. So you can kind of, like, get bounce, like, you know, bounce the PCI over there. Uh, I could give you guys some more like quick hitting tips, you know, make sure you keep your PCI loose uh, Make sure that you use strike zone because Obviously like look look how big the PCI looks here Like whenever I go cold if I'm going cold or if I'm just like trying to get some practice in I'll go to um, I'll go to like zoom or something like that And when I go to zoom like now look how small it just like it's so much smaller uh, so one thing I want to address in post here as I'm editing this is kind of like picture if you were playing Call of Duty or Battlefield or Halo <clears throat> or whatever first person shooter you like to play and you're kind of trying to shoot your opponent in the video game like from a distance it's going to be harder than if you're right up next to him and up close and that's kind of like what's going on here it's like the pitchers way further away my aiming target is a lot smaller um so it makes it so much harder the the baseball itself is like the the sprite of the baseball is way smaller so it's just it's way more difficult to hit like this that's why i'll pop into this for maybe a pitch or two um and when i pop back into strike zone the interface just looks huge again so just a little quick tip that's kind of like why strike zone is so good among other things like this so if i'm going cold you know if you're getting cold switch out to like zoom you know maybe for like in a bat or something like that <clears throat> and then uh once you go back to strike zone the the icons are gonna feel huge again so i'll do something like that and this is usually just when i'm practicing and now when i go back to uh strike zone look how big of an interface it is for me to uh to look at here like it's just it's so much easier for me to tell anything like low is going to be off the picture anything high is going to be off the picture Whoa, the baseball itself is bigger like your whole interface that you're using to hit with is bigger um i don't really need to look too much at the timing of a player's swing just because it's like i look for small visual cues within the strike zone camera like banks is a great example when he puts his hands back like, uh, I think he's so much easier to hit out of the strike zone view with than, like, any other view. Because he's got kind of a funky swing, but in here it looks perfect. He's like, puts his hands back and he's ready to fire. But, guys, That's those are pretty... This is just, like, a quick, quick video on why I like reticle more than strike zone. Put down your favorite hitting interface in the comments below. If you have any questions about hitting interfaces, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys are having a great day. Like I said, I'll give you guys some tips on the Chase LA grind. There's like one major tips, and uh, sh and I, I will have that for you guys once I get the Chase Utley grind done. Have a great day, guys. Uh, check out the other videos after I'm gone. Peace.